So in this video, we're going to talk about why Chelsea wants to stay single for such a long period of time. And the biggest reason I think this is, is because of experience and intelligence. I think Chelsea ones have already experienced a good amount of relationships, a good amount of dates, stuff of that nature. And some people never learn, bro. Some people can experience lots of relationships or dates and it's like they just keep bouncing off the next and the next and the next. But when it comes down to being chosen and more intelligent, once you have experienced certain things, it's like you genuinely learn from those situations. You learn from the dates you were on. You learn from the relationships you had. Even the friendships you had, the relationships with family members and everything else, like you learn about it. And... This is why you're going to get to a point where you stay single for long periods of time as you keep getting older because you become more selective. The more selective you become, the harder it's going to be to date. The higher standards that you have, the harder it's going to be to date. I'm telling you, bro, there are hundreds of women that I could have been long term with. Like, over the last even six, seven years. And because of my discernment, it shut down so many things. I've been in a fair share of toxic relationships to the point where it's like the four year one that I had in the past, as soon as that was over, I did another girl that was very similar, very pretty, very similar girls. Like I even explained my ex to this girl and she's like, you just described me. And whenever she said that, I was like, oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. But even then I was young. So I just kept going with it and <laughs> didn't work out obviously. But yeah, show us ones are gonna be more selective because of the past experiences they had. And you genuinely learn from those experiences. By 21, bro, 21 and a half, I was almost 22. That's when I kind of stopped dating for real. Like, I stopped trying. I started putting far more effort into my own personal life. And I already was at that time, but like I took it to a whole other level where I got frustrated with the dating scene. And I was just like, it's all a waste of time. Like these girls, it's the same thing over and over and over again. And realistically, bro, when you're that young, not many people know what they're doing. I felt at that age, I was, in, I was intelligent enough that I could have got the right thing for myself, but it's just like every situation wasn't the right thing for myself. So it had to come to an end. Even the last girl I dated whenever I was like long-term when I was 21, I've dated many girls after that, but they were all very short term. And this last one at 21, that lasts a longer time. I turned her down for long term because I had a higher standard and I needed her to meet that. And she couldn't do it. She literally cried in my front seat of my car because she could not do it. And she was saddened by it, but I can't help it. Like there was like a few things that had to change for me to be able to do that. And cause I've learned from the past ones that I've been in before this one. So it's like by then bro, I, I had the game down bad, to be honest, even at 21. And that's why nothing drastic happened to me since then till now, nothing. I've had a few faults and stuff and a few dates and stuff like that, but nothing drastic. It's like, this is why bro, Chosen ones are going to stay single for long periods of time. It doesn't mean you're going to stay single forever, but you will, I guarantee it, stay single for long periods of time. Long periods of time. Because of your standard. You very well might meet that person, but it's better to go longer without that happening to save yourself in so many different situations because bro, people who don't learn, they become more bitter. They become more bitter. They go through more experiences and more failures. And that's when it kind of makes you undateable. So it's best to work on yourself, save yourself, save your purity, save your mindset. 
and be very selective and make sure that they're the one. Don't just get yourself into something because you want a relationship. That's not how it works. Like, you have to take yourself fully seriously. I would recommend most people to stay single, like, until they have their whole life figured out. Like, you don't have to be a, a, million, a multi-millionaire or a billionaire to have it all figured out, but you should have your career down pat. You should know what you're doing before you even want to date, bro. That's just the world we live in today. Like, men and women used to get together and they used to stay together far more often. Far more often. Like, social media, bro, made things more competitive overall. Like, women are hypergamous by nature. So, if you're not living it up and there's other guys that's doing far better than yourself, but you were with this girl, she could leave you for those other guys. That's why. As a man, you want to get your life down pat. You want to have a plan. You want to have success. You want to be having it going before you want to hit the dating scene and get into the dating pool. It's exactly what you want to do. It's more risky for men than it is for women because women far oftentimes leave situations and relationships far more than men because men are easier to please and satisfy. Women are high pergamous. We don't consider them bad creatures, although there are, there are some men who do and don't like it, but those are the men that don't really have much going for themselves. The only thing you can do is understand how women are. It don't make them bad, it's just how they are. They're gonna do whatever it takes in their nature to survive. And if they see you as that bet, if they see you as that number one draft pick, they're gonna take you every day, all day. Or they're going to take that other guy that's that number one draft pick every day, all day. That's why you have to become top. And when you become top and you're on top of your game, I guarantee you things are going to work out when you find the one. I guarantee it. But this is a huge reason why well, chosen one stays single for longer periods of time. And bro, to be honest, in this world we're living in today, and also in the information age, there's far more people that have a better understanding of what's going on and how to move. And there's lots of guys that's even like 19 right now and they understand I'm going to stay single right now for a longer period of time. They're currently in school. They're currently doing things of that nature. And it's like they know they have to give themselves more time to have success. They know this. Like, that's, that's what you want. You want to know the truth. You don't want to be in over your head and, oh, I'm in this situation in school and I don't have everything going, but yeah, I'm still going to try to date long-term these girls and everything else and, and all that other kind of stuff, bro. It's not going to work. Like, I got to the age of 21 before I realized these things, which is still very young to realize these things, but there's kids that's like 19 that's understanding this at this point. They still go out, they still have some fun from time to time and they're getting with some girls, but it's nothing serious. And that's the way it should be when you're that young because you're gonna be all over the place. You're gonna be all over the place. No one at that age, bro, is ready for stability. Let's be real. People move for school, people are all over the place. Like, it'd be stupid to have a relationship at that age. Almost nobody does it today, bro. I'm telling you, almost nobody does it today. Almost nobody. And if you see people that's that young that get into relationships, it usually ends not good. It usually ends someone being very bitter. And that's what cannot happen because someone, whether it be the guy or the girl, got used bad, got lied to bad. That's where these situations end bad. And it cannot happen. I was in one of them. And it was in between the ages of 16 to 20. But after that, the next ones, it wasn't too bad. Like the nurse that I dated long term for a little bit lasted about a year. It didn't even end bad. Like 
no one, no one was upset. I was a little disappointed of how it ended, but I wasn't mad at her. It's just, it sucks a bit, but I never felt angry towards her. Why? No, I, I just, damn, disappointed, but it is what it is. Like, I, I never felt, there was no ill will. And the same as the other girl after this one, she wanted me long term. I was okay with the idea, but I wasn't on with the idea. I needed this to be a little bit better. I needed her to make some changes, which she deep down knew she couldn't. So, didn't work. If anyone was upset with this situation, it was her. How things ended, I was still cool with this person. I'd seen this person afterwards and no ill will, no, there, like there's no ill will, right? Like, like I'm good, we, we don't have to be angry at each other. Like it, it is what it is. Like bro, I'm always cool with shit. But when you're getting manipulated, you're not gonna be cool with it. Cause you got done dirty, bro. Like how things ended with me and my past ex, like I, I wasn't really cool with how it ended. It was like snake, absolute snake. How things went down, like how could I be cool with you whenever this, it happened this way, like. But I ended up in the end being cool with the person, like. We said a few things over the years and just randomly talked a couple times over the years and it ended not bad, which is what you want. You don't want to hold on to anything. You don't want to hold on to any bitterness. You don't want to hold on to any resentment. You want to get rid of it completely. But yeah, man, through all these experiences that I went through, like it taught me what relationships are all about and how things have to take place. It's so much harder than people think, bro. People can be in relationships all they want. You could be in a one year relationship right now. You can think you know what you're doing all you want. That stuff could come to an end so fast, your little head will spin. Bro. You have to be really certain in who you are and how things are going. And so doesn't the female. Y'all both have to be on the same page. Y'all have to both really, really want it to work. And y'all both have to be in position to want it to work. Y'all both have to have like meet each other's standards in order for it to work. There's so many variables that have to be. Like it, it, it's really that way. Nothing is that easy today. If you're dating some girl and she moves for school, which even happened to me in the past, she moved off island where I'm from to go to school and that's why we couldn't date. I don't do long-term, I don't mess with long-term, but we all know it's not gonna work. So we don't even try, it's like, we just have to let it go and go our separate ways and that's how it's gonna be. They have to be ready. You have to be ready. If you're chosen, you already know how it goes. And this is why it's not, bro. Some people think, oh, I was single for five years straight. Oh my, like, bro. <laughs> you could be the most attractive living being on earth and be single for 50 years straight. It has no correlation. You could be the ugliest thing on earth and be single for 50 years straight. You can be the most attractive thing on earth and be single for 50 years straight if the stars don't align. That's just the way it is. You could get that unlucky that nothing ever happens. You could be the ugliest thing on earth and get lucky like this and everything could happen. You could be the most attractive thing on earth and everything could happen like this and it's all gonna work. Things just have to align and at the end of the day, what God wants is what God wants. And that is what I want. I'm not forcing nothing. Y'all shouldn't force nothing. Y'all should be smart enough to not force nothing and not have the mindset, I'm going to look for a relationship. You shouldn't look for nothing. You shouldn't. You should be on board with what God is doing 24 seven. If it's out of your control, it's out of your control. There's many times in the past, bro, where it's like, you would have loved nothing more than to date that girl. 
but it didn't happen for a reason. And you have to be okay with that because what you, what you cannot see what's coming is definitely greater than what you thought in, in somebody else. Like, man, there's girls and they're not even mad that I dated in the past. They were, they were damn good. But it's like, to see what else I can do, I understand why things didn't work. Because there's better. <laughs> there's better. That's what you have to understand. You could be in such an amazing situation with such an amazing person. You just have to have faith. And who could be a 9 or 10 for you? Might be somebody else's 7 or 8. But in your mind, they might be a 9 or 10 in your eyes. Because you're that compatible. Like, that's how things work. And when you got a lot of love for somebody, bro, that's how it works. There's this feel about it that's just undeniable. There's a connection that's just undeniable. Like... Y'all have that for each other. And that's how it will work. There's going to be no games at that point. There's going to be no manipulation tactics at that point. They're going to see the value in you. You're going to see the value in them. And y'all is going to both go for it. And that's how it should be. But yeah, this is my take. And this was a question I actually got of why chosen ones are, are like stay single for such a long time or are single forever or whatever. Like this is why. And there's many people today, bro. Like I think there's more people single today than, than at any other time in, in the world. There's also more delusion in the world <laughs> more than anything else. There's tons of people, bro, like there's tons of these girls thinking they're better than they actually are. And it's like they, they get a little bit of attention. They look a little bit good. Some of their pics might look a little bit good on Instagram. And it's like, <sighs> they hold themselves to a higher standard than they actually operate in in a 24-hour period. Delusion is a killer of everybody, bro. You can't be. You have to seriously know who you are and seriously know your worth. Not above, not below. You have to know exactly who you are, what you bring to the table, and what you deserve in somebody else. Like, everybody has to know this. Everybody. And this ain't giving no one a green light to be extra delusional. Do not be extra delusional. Understand who you are. Understand what the opposite gender views you as as well. Like, that's being in reality. Like, delusion is just thinking all to yourself and, oh my God, this, oh my God, that. You could be a... <laughs> I don't want to say too much to offend many people, but at the end of the day, bro, you can't just look at yourself and see yourself as this man of value or this woman of value, like you have to see yourself how other people see you as well. It's perceived value from others. That also matters. And if you feel people's viewing you less than you actually are, which can happen sometimes, you just have to keep going, bro, to prove yourself even more to the point you're undeniable. That's what you have to do. And if you think that's where your worth is, go get it. Let people doubt you. Let people not view you as you know what you are and what you're going to be and keep going. I've been there. I got a ways to go on my own journey. I know exactly what I am. Exactly. It's not more and it's not less. It's exactly, I know exactly what I am. And as every single day keeps rolling on, I'm going to keep proving it. No one can tell you nothing. You're exactly what you say you are. That's the beautiful thing about leveling up. That's the beautiful thing about coming truly high value. You know who you are. You know what your worth is and you're going to prove yourself. 
Don't expect everybody to see you for how you see yourself. Don't expect it. But if you feel you deserve to be recognized at a higher degree, keep proving yourself. That's all you can do. You can't force nothing. You can't do none of that, bro. You just got to keep going out there every single day. Give it your all and keep proving yourself over time because you will prove yourself. That's the beautiful thing about it. The truth is always going to come to light. Don't let no one view you as less. Don't let no one view you as more. Be exactly who you know you are. Exactly. This whole world and people and us and everything, bro, everything's a work in progress at the end of the day. And we all have to keep working, putting in the work, proving ourselves. I'm so much better right now than I was a year ago. So much better, bro. And it's going to continue to roll in that way. It's called growth. It's called evolution. It's called you're never staying the same and you have this hunger about your life all the time. And you're not only proving yourself to others, you're proving yourself to yourself as well. Like, I always knew my strengths. I always knew everything about myself, bro. Like, I low-key always knew how good I was. Because I, I know how good I am. And I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. And I'm going to keep proving myself. Like... No one can look down on me. You can't. I'm going to rise above what you're looking at, buddy. You can't do it. I'm going to show you. You're going to see it unfold. You're a man on a mission. You're possessed. Chosen. On your path, on your purpose. No one can look down on you, bro. Nobody. Because you got a long way to go. And you're going to do it. And you're going to shock the world. There's a lot of delusional people in this world, right? Prove to them how delusional they are and how sane you are. Because a lot of people are going to try to gaslight you, making you look like you're insane or you're not that or you're not that guy, pal, or whatever they have to say. You're going to keep being that guy, pal. And guess what? They're going to be proven delusional. You're going to be proven a certified winner because you was chosen. And this is a whole other reason, bro, why chosen one stays single. And not only single, relationship-wise, when it comes to even friends, bro, you don't hold on to the same friends your whole life. Things change all the time. And only real ones will be there from the beginning to the end. And there's not going to be a lot of them, bro. There's not going to be a lot of them. There's going to be a lot of floaters. You just got to keep doing your thing. You just got to keep going. The rest is going to unfold. It's the smartest thing anybody can do today. And with that being said, God willing, God bless. I'll see you on the next video. I got the top.